as you guys know, outside of West Wings, I direct videos, I also edit videos as well, and also, you know, randomly sometimes write scripts and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, today, I'm actually going to discuss my top five wrestling films. Number one, Ready to Rumble. A little story about, you know, my, my love for this film and the reason why I did pick it in part of my top five was that back in the day, we had a local library next to us and it had Ready to Rumble there. And um, yeah, just say that I kind of like took it and never brought it back. <laughs> I took it and never brought it back because of how sick the film was. I had a legit cassette with the adverts in the beginning saying, don't steal this film. So I took the film and um, never brought it back because of how sick it was. Um, this film basically follows two big wrestling fans, basically like me. They try to get their favorite wrestlers back on track. He's kind of lost his ways and like trying to just retire from wrestling, but they're like, no, you have to do it. You have to get back into the ring. You have to get your title back. And that's what he basically did. It's such a nice film. It's just like a, one of these happy ending films, man. Like you just watching, you're like, oh yeah, that's nice, man. It's got cameos from Goldberg, Sting, Basically, all the whole natural lot, man. Anything, anyone from that natural, like that natural era, like the peak natural era, they're all in it. Booker T, you name it. Rey Mysterio, Billy Kidman with the vest and the, the denim pants. Randomly, there's a scene with Goldberg talking to, um, I forgot his name, I think it's Gordy or, or Sean in the gym, and John Cena's in the back. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to watch John Cena, like before he became the Doctor of Ergonomics or the guy that he is today, then yeah, go check that out, man. Number two, Fighting with My Family. This film has to be added to my list because of. Bro, just put it this, anything that's wrestling related in a film, I'm watching it. I don't care what it is. But also because of how the story is told, it depicts the, the career of Paige, who's a former wrestler at WWE. I think she still wrestles, she still wrestles. She's like, no, she doesn't wrestle no more. She's like a backstage or like presenter sort of type role now. Basically about her career and how she basically works up the ranks of her being in the English independent wrestling, for her getting to NXT, for her getting to the main show. So it basically shows all of that. You've got cameras from The Rock in there. It just basically shows how family is, man. It's proper sick, man. I enjoyed watching it. Had a smile in the end. Even you kind of feel happy for, like, you, you see her journey and you're happy for it. Like, that's it. And that's stuff you want to see in wrestling films, man. So, yeah, fighting my family, that has to go number two. Number three, The Wrestler. I think The Wrestler won a few awards. I don't know if it's concrete facts, but it, if it didn't win awards, then it must, it should have won awards. Uh, Wrestler's a great film. Stars Mickey Rourke as um, an independent wrestler. He's kind of like, to say, got to the end of his wrestling, um, wrestling career. But at the same time, he's also dealing with personal life struggles and family issues that he, it's kind of like pushing him away from, you know, the person he's meant to be. And it's, it's a proper sad film, a very emotional. You kind of feel sad for Mickey Walker as well because he's trying to develop his relationship with his daughter again. And it's just, yeah, it's all mad, man. But the last, the last bit of the film is proper nice. You watch it and yeah, it's one of them happy films again, man. Number four, main event. This film, came out recently on Netflix. I like this film personally because it's the main star in the film is black. But yeah, the film was sick overall. I enjoyed like, I, enjoy, I like the fact that they brought in real WWE stars like Keith Lee's in it, but Keith Lee's singing. He had the debut of Baba Tunde. I call it the debut because he was actually beating people up on that film, bro. bro. Like the first one I saw they, um, Baba Tunde, he was in like, he came in the Royal Rumble and he left like after how many minutes, but. Yeah, it was sick, man. And I think the reason why Dub Baba Tunde is probably getting the biggest push, it's not big push, but the reason why Baba Tunde is getting a lot of screen time right now or, or has been getting screen time this year is because of that film alone, the main event. Ever since that film's come out, like you've been seen on Raw Underground, he's even got drafted to Raw now. So yeah, it was, it's a good film, man. Like you see the kid, like, you know, he basically finds this mask, this mystic mask. He puts it on and he becomes a complete different person to the point where his voice has changed. And like, he, before he was the guy that no one was looking at, no one cared about in school, but now he, he now becomes a popular guy, has superpowers, a bit like Spider-Man. You get bit by a spider and you're like some superhero. So it's a bit like that. So if you want to watch a film that's, you know, you know, you can watch with your kids and you know feel happy and feel like, yeah, everyone can achieve something, then watch that. Number five, Nacho Libre. This film is basically like the main event, but like a luchador type of version. So Jack Black is like the main actor in it. He stars as this um, cook who works in the church. He wants to accomplish the dreams of becoming a luchador. It's quite funny. You know how Jack Black is in these films, man. Funny guy. To be honest, if you like wrestling or any sort of sort of thing, like any sort of like, you know, wrestling culture, then this is the film for you, man. It's got one of the biggest actors at the time. And also, um, yeah, man, it's got wrestling action, isn't it? So yeah, Nacho Libre has to be in there, number five. 
that was my top five wrestling film, wrestling inspired films per se. Um, not in any order. If you guys got any wrestling films that you would like me to watch or like anyone else to watch, just throw them in the comments. Share your knowledge with us and we'll share the knowledge back to you, man. But yeah, man, I've been a Nafi and peace. <laughs>